Hey guys and welcome back to the Duconia survival series I'm doing with Duke Conrad 1. Um, in this episode I want to start working on the gradient in these wall sections and kind of whatever materials they have will kind of carry it as far over as we can go. But I just kind of want to show you guys the whole process I've been going through and kind of how the gradient's been working. So down here, just to kind of start out, we're just going to work with cutting out some of these lower blocks and really working up the... This is, it's going to be a very, very dark base here, especially down at the bottom. I think that's probably not going to be any cobblestone. But, um, so right now, this is kind of what I was thinking about with the polished andesite, was filling in these spots. Um, just going to be kind of jumping around and doing a lot of going back out to look at the final result. It's kind of the best option we have here, because I should make, we don't need diorite, and we don't need stone brick right now. So I make a little dirt bridge right in the middle that we can kind of go to walk back and kind of check things out on so all this stuff we got to take out and I'm gonna do some andesite in here and some granite over here maybe maybe we'll mix it up a little bit put andesite right there and we do a granite block right right here I think that'll be yeah so that's kind of our base building up as I was saying it's very very dark I think this whole bottom area we're going to do probably mostly granite. But yeah, so we'll do like maybe a block andesite right there, a little bit more granite. And then probably some andesite. Gonna just create a little jump up so we don't have to keep breaking blocks. Um, I might actually take this guy out and throw in some moss stone. Because it's still pretty dark, it gets a nice texture to it. But pretty much what we're going to do is we work our way up here to the top. Do we have polished granite? Do we have regular granite? Do we have polished? I don't know if we have polished granite. All right, I'm going to go grab some polished granite and we'll be right back. All right, so in this texture pack, pretty much what we use the polished granite for is that plastered stone texture up there. And it just makes things a lot. It makes, I don't know. It helps a lot with kind of getting different gradients by having these blocks big. So, God, I cannot stand on this freaking thing. But uh, it just helps with a lot of the texturing no i don't you want it if you guys are thinking about doing something like this and traveling around make sure you're at least one block away it makes it a lot easier might not seem like it but it really does help so we're going to go ahead and kind of just take out as much of this cobblestone as we want just kind of randomly breaking it out and for this we're just going to be doing the so i think that's a pretty good I, yeah i like that a little bit of andesite in here, maybe maybe some moss stone right there, some moss stone right there, some right there. Uh, we can bring the granite up in there a little bit, maybe. Let's do some more moss stone. That cobblestone is tweaking out. All right, so then we're gonna boost ourselves up a little bit more. And where is that polished granite? So the polished granite, we're gonna start working in up here. Just very, very briefly, because we want to keep the same consistency with what we're doing over there. So these walls are going to be mostly dark. Like I think we honestly might need to take some of that cobblestone out towards the bottom. But it's for right now, it's okay. But like the, I want to keep like the top rows pretty, pretty light. Uh, do we have regular stone? On? No, we don't. All right. So pr I want to fill in these last few little spots of regular stone. But this is kind of, you can see the idea behind the gradient right here. It's very randomized, but consistent going from dark, working its way up to light. I don't, I actually really don't like how consistent that is right there. So I'm going to actually change that real quick. Let me get rid of that andesite block. Put in a cobblestone there. Get rid of this guy. And we can put in some regular granite right here. Basically, you don't want to create patterns and be super consistent with your patterns. You want to make it very, very natural and progressing its way up, kind of filtering from uh, speckles of light down here towards just being speckles of dark at the top. Uh, very, very, uh, you can go with whatever extreme you want on the gradient as you work. Kind of, we're going very, very heavy dark, in it, but it filters out very quickly as it goes up because it very much whitewashed up there, I feel like. So we can grab some stone in here if we have, yeah, we have a little bit, cool. So back over at our wall, uh, we're gonna go up to the top and work in a little bit of stone here. Where did I put the stone? 
There, there it is. But the stone just has that nice in between. It's a little bit lighter than cobble, but it's not quite as light as the plastered stone. So I really want to use that a lot more as we're working on these gradients here, just because I feel like it it would bring it brings it together a lot, and it works very well with the andesite. So I want to keep the polished granite, the plastered stone, very light as we go up, just because I feel like it'd be very extreme kind of pushing it. But yeah, so guys, I think, whoop. There we have our first section. Um, I, I like that result. It's, so then we'll start working over here on the second one. Um, so we can start with doing this bottom area. And again, we're just kind of carrying it over as much as we can with our current resources and we're just going to come back later and when we have more and fill it in I'm gonna throw a little moss stone in here to mix it up a little bit some andesite probably do some andesite and we can throw some granite in right down here where is some granite but the nice thing is I was actually always I've been really really out of cobblestone so the fact that we're kind of doing it this way um, is we're get I'm getting back a lot of cobblestone, which means I can start doing the masking of the other areas. So we're trying. To, I'm trying to be very, uh, very like I'm trying to manage the resources I have very well as we go through this, just so that I can keep the series somewhat interesting and consistent, and just kind of working as we go, make it a lot better. So we're gonna do that. I think over here we're gonna just throw in one more polished andesite, and that's probably enough for the polished andesite. Trying to keep it very much towards just the bottom few blocks. Uh, yeah, that'll be good. Oh, hello, little hole. So where's our granite? Yeah, we can throw a granite in right there. I'm going to throw a moss stone or two right up here. Um, we can throw some more granite right there because we have that andesite. So I want to kind of keep that little difference between the two. Uh, that'd be a lot of andesite over there. Let's throw some granite. But yeah, so, oh, it's going to be nighttime. I can't wait for nighttime to be, or for, to get this, some cool shots of this with shaders and renders and whatnot after it's all done, guys. That's one of the things I've been really bummed about with the Reforged mod and playing with that is you can't do renders because uh, Chunky doesn't render um, modded blocks. So... We're kind of working with what we got there and screenshots in game. But this will be pretty cool. We got our bed on us, or as it turns to nighttime, we can just sleep up here. Which will be nice. Let's see, where do we start filtering in the plaster? I think the plaster is going to start. Let's see, it's polished granite? Yeah, polished granite. Okay, so it's going to be nighttime. I'm going to do a quick sleep right here. Uh, I'm going to bring this one back. Any time now. There we go. Alright, so back to morning time. Back to working on this good old build we got going on here. If I can get this. I'm going to bring my dirt back down before I place my bed somewhere randomly. Get our cobblestone back. Break that little dude. And so right here, I think I want to work in some regular stone. Honestly, we're going to run out of regular stone here very, very quickly. But we need to bring the andesite up a little bit more. I know it's kind of heavy on. I I think this side over here needs to darken it. I'm gonna take that moss down out and put andesite right there, and we can put some granite. And then I really don't want to take the stone out, but we might have to move it around just a little bit. And maybe put some more granite right down here. I, th I think granite would work out pretty well. But yeah, so we're just gonna keep working our way up. Do I have polished diorite on me? I do. I'm gonna. No, I need that. I need the shovel, or I need the dirt. That's yeah. So we. I just want to make that pretty consistent, so we know how high to take our gradient and what blocks we have to and don't have to deal with. Um, let's see here. We can do a little bit of andesite right there, some moss stone, and maybe a little bit of granite. Yeah, let's try some. No, okay, we can try andesite. I meant to put it. Um, let's do this. 
I think, and then up there it's going to be mostly plastered stone, honestly. Maybe a little, a brick of stone, no, that's not a pick. A little brick of stone right here or something, and we can do some plastered stone like the, those guys, maybe. With the polished granite. Yeah, let's take a look at this and see how it's looking. Yeah, I like this. It's getting there. It's getting somewhere, guys. I, maybe we don't really want that much of the... Put some granite right in there or something. Maybe we can change this other one right here to some moss stone. But, yeah. Yeah, so this is our way down. Get all our blocks and stuff back. But, yeah, guys, I'm, I'm liking this. This is looking a lot better. Um, So, I guess while we're here, we... If we're, since we're moving over another one, I need to come like here and put in the stone brick and polished diorite. So pretty much all it is is just every three, I'm just, eh, come on. Someday I won't fall off this dirt. I'm so surprised I haven't died yet. I mean, knock on wood, but like, holy crap, guys. I fall off way too much stuff in this game. So bring that down to... Let me put a polished diorite, bring that down another two. Just trying to add some, I, it originally was all stone brick. And the reason why I'm keeping it stone brick is so I can use stairs and things. And just kind of working them together so I can actually do like the stairs up there and that. But yeah. So here we are, we get our good stuff back that we were actually using. Oh, we have a lot of granite on us, wow, okay. So we have our granite, our moss stone, our andesite, polished. Yeah, we can keep, I think we can actually get this one done right here too. I think we got enough blocks. And maybe we can do something like this. We can do this. I want to do this one pretty heavy. Just keeping it, just keeping it mixed up. And we can do andesite for these last two. I want to kind of figure out a way how I can divide them up a little bit more instead of, maybe I can do like some stone brick stairs or things right there kind of rounding out the corners yeah i'm gonna go grab some stone brick stairs and i'll be right back and we can test that out all right so luckily i had nine stone brick stairs left of me but if we do something like this just kind of hang a little bit of dividing feature i don't know something a little interesting i guess trying just trying to round it a bit i get kind of at the bottom you know i i like it it's pretty cool i think we might need to do something down here a little bit more though just kind of, because it, these blocks come in, maybe, uh, I don't know. What if we tried something like that? That looks pretty nice. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think about this right here. Do those little designs? Yeah, I, I kind of like them. I think it's pretty cool. Do we have wood? We have wood for a crafting table. Cool. All right, so we got that. We got some more stone brick stairs in here. I kind of like it. looks real nice. You guys will have to l let me know what you guys think about this. I'm, I'm liking it, but maybe a little too... Hmm. I think what we need to do, honestly, is take those top ones off and put uh, stairs on them. Or on top of that, even. I don't know. We can make it a little bit higher and have it go actually into the wall. Or kind of line it up right into the roof. and Because I think what I'm going to do is stone... Uh, half slabs kind of going across there just kind of border the actual roofing part a little bit more I still don't know what actual material I want to do for the roofs so you guys will have to let me know I was thinking one of the clays but farming all that clay would be so painful so we can do that for now and then we can bring our dirt back down and I think what we're gonna start working on this guy a little bit more just kind of giving ourselves a little walkway up here so we can kind of get some nice looks at it while we're doing it and I guess we can do this guy first, huh? Get get him out of the way, so we kind of know what that wall is gonna be looking like. Yeah. Place those guys up there, and we can do this. Get rid of this a little bit. We're gonna have so much cobblestone left over after this whole thing. It's gonna be crazy how much I'm gonna have. But I guess that means on to the next project, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's looking real nice. Okay. Cool. So now we want to start with building up this area right here. Ooh. And 
Again, going with that really, really dark base to it. Maybe something like this. Maybe here we can actually bring the polish and the site up a little bit more. Kind of, you know, mix it up a little bit. Leached up there a little bit more. Kind of showing that something or another working out. Oh, not there. We need to granite in these guys. I'm going to do some moss stone in here a little bit. I want to keep the moss stone real light. I know we're in the middle of taiga forest, so like it would be pretty wet and mossy. But all in all, I think we want to keep it pretty light. Maybe some granite and whatnot here. We don't need that polished diorite stuff anymore. Yeah, that's looking real nice. I'm a huge fan of this right now. This, I'm really enjoying this, guys. I hope you guys are as well. Then we're going to put the mossy stone right there and there. And we can bring this andesite up a little bit more. Maybe do some granite and stuff in here. Oh, that's not supposed to be granite. That's not supposed to be anything. Let's see this guy. That's a little too consistent. We're gonna break this up with a little bit of andesite. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Always gotta go with cleanup duty afterwards, though, huh? We gotta go back and clean up all the extra blocks we've been using. I think we want to get one closer a little bit here, guys. But up here at the top, we're gonna do some some stone in those guys uh, where's our where's our polished granite there we go let's get this guy out here some more polished granite right in there yeah yeah I'm digging this guys I hope you are too this is that'd be very nice beginning to look real nice all right so I think I think that's pretty well pretty well rounded out maybe that's not a pick. Maybe a little bit, a little bit of stone right in here or something. I don't know, let's go, let's go take a look. Let's see this from a little bit. Take a little step back. This nice afternoon light. That line right there might be a little bit too big, but I think all in all, because the moss stone there and moss stone there, that breaks it up just a little bit. I think. I don't know. I'm, I think this is pretty solid. You guys will have to let me know what you think of this wall so far, but I think we got some nice work coming on here. It's uh, definitely getting a lot better. Do we have a... We don't have any stone brick stairs on us anymore. But let's let's grab some more of these guys and just kind of... Oh, that's not where you go. It is going to be nighttime. All right, I'm going to sleep real quick. But this looks mighty fine in the dark. Look at that, guys. That is pretty great. All right, so here we are back in the morning. It's a little bit dark on this side of the monastery in the morning because we got that nice night shade or sun coming up right over there. But this is what we're working with here to now, guys. I'm I don't think we quite have enough resources on us to get. I just I don't. We could try. Uh, I think I think we can actually manage through this last little bit. We got a crap ton of granite we don't have very much polished andesite though i guess we kind of work some of this polished andesite into it yeah i think we can work with 10 so yeah we're going to do this one last section right here guys and i think that's going to be it for this episode um but first let's get this going uh don't need this guy right now We're gonna go ahead and fix this stone brick pillar up here real quick. Let's see, where is my polished diorite going? Oh, I need the stone bricks too, huh? There we go. One, one, two, one, one, two, and one. Cool. All right, so there we got our pillar in the corner. Um, I do want to leach up the dark kind of at a slope kind of like that. So this this area right here is going to be much, much darker. Just because the corner is a lot of the moisture would kind of seep down from the roof there at the corner and just kind of drop right down there. So I think it will be really good to have it um, fully 
um, that corner going kind of all the way up is very, very dark. So, you know, we might actually need some more materials than what we have currently, guys, to be honest. I don't know if we have enough, but we'll work with what we got. I'm really loving the connected textures on all these right now. This is pretty nice. And... Come on. Where's... There's our granite. Okay. Yeah, so something like that a little bit. And then... Because we only have two andesite left and 50. Let me go check if we have some more and then we can finish this up. Alright guys, so we are back. I ended up having to go on a little mining spree because I only had three andesite and all my chests over there. So, I went and got up a bunch of stuff. I got a crap ton of granite. I got a lot... I got over a stack of andesite. Um, so we should be, we'll be great now to finish up everything that we wanted to. I'm just going to turn some of this into polished and we'll get going. We don't need that torch in that offhand spot anymore. Um, but yeah, so what we want to be doing here is pretty much everything in kind of that slope at minimum. And then over here, I, I want to finish up this little segment too. But everything kind of in that area too is going to be just dark, dark, dark. Um, so let's, I guess let's start it and we'll work on this one and bring it all the way. Oh, come on. I always fall off this freaking dirt guys. I don't even know. Yeah. We need a lot more andesite. Uh, it's still going to be like over leached over here too, but that's just like for sure. Everything in there is going to be dark. Get some granite mixed in here. Come on, come on. Something like that? Yeah, I like that. Don't need those stakes anymore, huh? Okay, so we got our little bit of, I think I want to do a little bit of granite up in here. Honestly, we might want to extend this out even more because the whole thing is gonna be so dark. Take some granite. Some more granite, right? If we're about to break our first diamond pick, too, guys. Like this, we've been. <laughs> it kind of shows how much I've been playing this series here, just farming all these materials, just to give you guys these videos and whatnot. Let's throw some moss stone right in there and right in there. We can throw andesite, andesite. Leave those two as cobble, and turn this guy down here to moss. And I, yeah, I, I like that so far. I think that's a good base for us to be working with. Anyways, we're going to be bringing this guy all the way here. So I guess we can kind of start on, I guess it'd be smart to work these up together, huh? Okay, maybe I won't fall. Nope, we're falling down again. Too used to creative, guys. Too used to creative. All that extra cobble. And we gotta go some andesite, mix that in right there. We can do some granite for these little bits. I really like having the granite here because it almost looks like a little bit of a wet stone to me. I don't know why, it just looks wet. One of those dark, dark colors. It's starting to be night again already. Come on, game. Um, let's do some andesite right there. Trying to break up that pattern a little bit instead of letting it continue. Um, granite, granite, and we can do some andesite over here. I think this would be a double mossy. And then I think that guy right up there is going to be some polished granite, to be honest. Where do we have our polished granite? I know I have some somewhere around here. And we can do regular stone in here, just kind of make that little border. Not border, but nice little mix. Yeah, I think that's almost good for this guy. Might do some, a little bit of, I think we might do some polished granite right over there to get that nice little plastered stone in the corner. And that one just did, yeah, I like, I like this, I like this a lot. We'll do this as polish again. It is going to be nighttime again. Are you kidding me? Th these days fly by so quickly in survival. I always forget that. 
going to sleep here real quick, guys. All right, so back to morning time. We see those great sun rays coming through, making it terrible for building right now. But we're going to finish this up real quick to keep this video from getting way too long. So it's already getting up there. We are at such a long video. I did not expect this one to go this long because I planned on stopping after like the first one, but I wanted to keep going. Uh, maybe some mossy right in here, something like that. Yeah, I'm liking this a lot, guys. I'm really liking this. All right, we got to go a little bit closer. We have a lot of crap on this side, huh? All right, so I think I'm just going to throw some more plaster. Uh, maybe, yeah, let's do this. So it's just regular stone. Nice little point. Yeah, right there, too. I like that. Let's go with that, guys. All right, we'll go back, get a nice little view of this so you guys can see everything we've been working on today. And I think that will actually be it for this video. I probably said that like four times now, but this will actually be it, I swear. But yeah, guys, here is what we did today. We got this nice gradient going all in survival. It looks pretty freaking awesome, if I do say so myself. Um, as always, guys, thank you for watching the video. Um, please leave a like and comment below on what you guys think about how this is turning out and all that good stuff. As always, I will see you guys in the next one.